Turning to politics, U.S. conservatives have long touted the view of American exceptionalism that argues America is itself uniquely special. But that's actually giving away to a new kind of foreign exceptionalism, a far cry from the Reagan era, where now today's conservatives tout foreign countries, some of them as a model, and foreign strongmen like Putin and Viktor Orban, who is a white ethno-nationalist authoritarian who's close to Putin. And that's part of what led the most influential conservative gathering on the right, CPAC, to now hold its first ever event in Budapest, Hungary, piping in an American media figure who's done some fawning interviews with Orban. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. Greetings to Hungarian CPAC. I can't believe you're in Budapest and I am not. What a wonderful country. And you know why you can tell it's a wonderful country? because the people who have turned our country into a much less good place are hysterical when you point it out. The last thing they want is any kind of signpost to a better way. Now, conservatives so concerned about America's pluralistic democracy, they are openly nodding to some authoritarian regimes and leaders. Now, that's a kind of a tick that uh, the last president has mainlined. He also sent in a video greeting like Tucker. And Donald Trump's crush on Putin was a far cry from, as mentioned, how a Reagan or a Bush would approach authoritarians on the global stage. And while this whole CPAC gathering has shifted a lot, it's important to note this is something that used to focus more on actual conservative policy, which previous speakers would emphasize. I spent 25 years balancing budgets. We must promote upward mobility. Keeping as far away from government as humanly possible. Solutions that speak to our broken education system, broken immigration policy. That's about policy, whether you agree or not. And political movements across ideological spectrums can flourish when there are places to discuss and incubate policies and ideas. In a democracy, that's a good thing, even if by definition no one's going to agree with all of the ideas. But right now, we are seeing something that is unusual. The American right largely and openly abandoning policy. They refused to even run on a policy platform in 2020, the first time that happened in over a century. And CPAC, well, it's a place that you can see all of this in a very vivid way because we showed you some of the old policy talk. Lately, CPAC is a place where you see the movement's obsession with entertainment and trolling on display. Darling, is the wind blowing today? I'd like to watch television, darling. I got to say, Orlando is awesome. It's not as nice as Cancun. I'm a band man in the state of New Jersey. Now, I really believe, had Florida not led the way, this country could look like Canada you know, then they became radicalized and they figured out that they could take over the government. Didn't anybody tell you that you're supposed to be canceled? 